Hello, in several new smaller sets for 2021 have just been revealed. The first one that we have is a like a car. It's an older style car. Um, it looks pretty nice. It looks like it go. It would go well with the downtown diner modular building. I'm pretty sure that this is a gift with purchase. Um, you get two minifigures, and the car is in like a teal color, which is kind of interesting because it's not a super common color, but car looks really nice and I think it says Lego ideas on it but maybe this will come with the police station because I have seen rumors that the idea set coming out um, in winter of 2021 is Winnie the Pooh and this wouldn't really fit with that so maybe this is coming with the police station I'm not really sure um and that's pretty much it. Uh, the idea is gone for some reason, but uh, these cat for kids, they look nice. They'll probably cost $15, and yeah. Um, we also have the dog brick heads, which are German Shepherds. These also look pretty nice. Um, I kind of think that these will be more popular than the cat brick heads. Um, like I said with the cat brick heads, these will probably be like $15 because you have the smaller one as well as the larger one. And I'm interested to see where they'll go with this, like, um, how many other dog breeds they'll make. And, uh, imagine getting a turtle brick head or a fish brick head, that'd be kind of funny. So... Now we have one, we have the panda brickheads, which I guess aren't part of the pets brickheads. These um these may not even be part of the seasonal ones, but I assume that these are for the Chinese New Year. And you get a nice tree, two baby pandas, and an adult panda. I assume that this will be twenty dollars because you do have the two smaller ones as well as the larger one. So next up, another Chinese New Year set. We have the Year of the Ox. This guy, I guess, looks okay. There's nothing really interesting about him. He kind of looks a little creepy. It looks like they tried to make him cute, but it didn't really work. So now we have this kind of creator snail polybag thing. Um, I guess this is just a kind of building thing where you make your snail and you add whatever you want to it. It doesn't really interest me. It doesn't look like it has any interesting or rare pieces. So, probably won't pick this up. Um, next we have a Lego City car poly bag. Uh, to me this car looks really stupid. It almost looks like a junior's car, and I won't pick this up. The minifigure in the set doesn't use any interesting pieces, or er, exclusive pieces, I don't think. Maybe the shirt, but even that, I don't think it's exclusive. Next up, we have the Rose set, which I think is uh, 20 bucks. This will be kind of nice. You could... Uh, beef up your bouquet if you buy the $50 flower set. Um, these look fine. Uh, they're flowers. Uh, so next up is a tulip set. Uh, you do get three tulips in this set versus the two roses that you get in the rose set. Um, I personally think that the roses look better than these. These, well, not necessarily better, but these you don't use as interesting of pieces so between this and the rose set I would probably go for the roses next up we have the tuck tuck um this is an interesting little thing uh I assume it will be a gift with purchase I'm not completely sure though and I can't tell if it's in minifigure skill because I don't know, I think it might be slightly larger than minifigure scale. 
So next up we have the yellow taxi. This set looks really nice and I'm glad we're finally getting a taxi for people's city displays. Um, based on the pieces that are used for its windshield though, I don't know if you could actually fit a minifigure inside of it, even though it appears to be minifigure scale. So that'll be interesting to find out, and it may be a gift with perk. So next up we have another set similar to that snail with uh, a set that kind of looks like a mixel. Um, I don't know, this set doesn't really interest me at all, same as a snail, it's just a bunch of random pieces. So next up we have the penguin polybag and this set looks fine to me, looks like exactly what it's supposed to be, but this set does not look like it should cost like four or five bucks. It looks really small. Another really small set here is the skull. Uh, to me this set looks a little odd and really doesn't interest me at all. Again with the tiny poly bags, we have the Venus flytrap. Uh, it doesn't look great to me. It, I don't know. Probably will pick this up. The best poly bag out of all of these is probably this train, which is saying a lot about the other choices, because even though this is a decent looking train, it's kind of boring. A good poly bag that we have though is this friends one. Uh this is a cheap way to get the like child piece for Lego Friends. Um and other than that it doesn't look to have any super interesting pieces, but you do get the child piece, which is nice. So next up we have this Valentine's Day bear set. Um it looks okay, it looks fine. I wonder if this is going if uh the seasonal brick eds are ending though because I would assume that we would get the Valentine's Day one revealed, but that hasn't been revealed yet and this is a Valentine's Day set. So you'd assume that they'd be revealed together or I guess maybe that one is replacing it, so that's kind of interesting. So we also have some extra sets. Of, um, we have the Chinese New Year one. Doesn't include any interesting pieces and isn't very good, and I probably won't pick it up. We also have another food one. This one also doesn't... In include any special or interesting food pieces and I probably won't pick it up. So overall these are all pretty boring and I probably won't pick many of them up. Um, I'm, I am however interested to see where they take the Brickhead's Pets sets, where that goes, that'll be interesting, but overall the rest of it was pretty boring. Uh, that's it for my thoughts. What do you guys think? Comment down below.